Welcome to my solo adventure through Italy, where I spent 8 incredible days exploring Rome, Naples, and Positano. In this vlog, you'll see the realities I face, both good and bad, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Traveling is my outlet, my escape from the grind of school, so I hope you enjoy the vlog and live through my unconventional adventures. Let's explore Italy together. Like traveling by yourself as a black girl to a European country, you need tough skin. I literally bought my ticket three minutes before the train departed, but we made it. This train is huge and it's the Leonardo Express. It's like a high speed train to get into like Rome and Germany. So if I'm staying is near the Colosseum. This place reminds me of Lagos. They had a market. I was not gonna record because it was too busy. I'm not gonna get my phone snatched, but that food tour may not happen. <laughs> you guys, this is not only building mental toughness, this is building physical toughness. Because dragging, it doesn't matter how good your quality your suitcase is, dragging that thing on cobblestone is not for the weak. This area is peaceful though. Probably a 13 minute walk. It was like what, 15, 17 minute walk, but I think we made it. They made it free. So we're in, and the hostel's actually really cute. I like it. The pictures did not do it justice. It looks better in person than on pictures, because I was, but this is a cute little mini terrace of balcony we got going on here with a little view. And the room in the back. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Let me not drop my phone while I'm playing. <laughs> But yeah, this is a little view. I like it. I like it. It feels good outside. And I definitely missed that food tour. No. Okay, so I met a friend from Charlie and we're gonna go and get dinner. I don't know. It's like a oh, I guess that's a colour Oh! <laughs> Yes. I was like, this is part. That's so cool. Oh wow. I did not know. Oh, this is really the Coliseum. Uh -huh, Matt is yes. doing a tour. Did you already see it? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Well, well, up that hill to the so right, we had the Airbnb for the night uh -huh. when we came on Monday. That's all. Like, the, like the child or bambino is the boy. Boy. You know? Okay. When they are. Uh, Mommy almost fallen. Oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So I, didn't even, okay. I didn't even know what happened. It's, uh, it was slippery, yeah. yeah it was slippery. And this is huge. I thought it would be smaller for some reason, but like... I thought it was going to be bigger. Really? Yeah. I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> So we found a restaurant that she was recommended to, so we're gonna eat there. Hopefully it's good, cause y'all, honestly the pasta we had at the hotel or the hostel was bussing. It was bussing. Like, I was so happy to finally eat good food. So I'm excited to be here and see what they have. I'm ready to eat Jolly and be merry. We're in Italy. 
I may wear this outfit again, but mind your business. Mind your business. I only had packed a carry on, but yeah, it's a good vibe. I really like the hostel. We got to meet so many different people from all over the world, just like me, you know, who taking a break from school and stuff. Other solo travel. Literally, everyone there was a solo traveler. Yeah, was dope. The warm silver, okay? Grilled with potato or something else. Uh, pizza nice as well. Very light if you like to try something. We go with pasta. pasta. Perfect. Call me when you're ready, okay? Manuel, my name. All right, Manuel. Okay, thank you. Because I can feel it. I had the big glass of wine. I already yeah, rushed it that. down. Arigato. You go first. I go first? Yeah. For what? To drink it. And you? For you. No, no, you no. Take no. Half, but you take half. Yeah, you should have. Sorry? You take you half. Take half. She drinks half. Go. Go. Here you go. Here you go. You drink it? <laughs> what did you do? You put something. I don't put it on. You gave it to me. You gave it to me. You gave it to me. We didn't put anything in it. Don't worry. Here you go. You did it? It's spicy. And the aphrodisiac. Okay. I feel something. I feel, feel something? I feel, you can, I feel some. You feel something? You can eat the rest of it. Okay. I'm not drinking it. <laughs> Y'all, I really enjoy the food, the vibes. The waiter was cool and funny and everything. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao. He's so sweet. And I gotta wait for my friend. Hey. I gotta wait for the girl, she's in the restroom, so I gotta wait. And I'm about to walk by the hostel, y'all, I'm tired. We have a long day tomorrow. Day. I don't know what day this is in Italy, but I think day two in Italy. Day, no, yeah, day two in Italy. I have a photo shoot today in Rome. This is my outfit. Um, I'm running late. I'm kind of sad because people already posted outfits. This, but like, it's a basic dress. But tomorrow, I was, I did my part. I was on time. But if you're using Uber in Italy and you're in a time crunch and you can't afford to be running late beyond what you're already doing, don't use Uber. For the tax like when you have the uber selection don't choose the first the cheapest one the cheapest one is a local taxi that takes forever you can't message them you can't call them if you don't understand italian so don't do that that was my mistake i just chose the first one the cheapest one so i had to just do uber black and they speak english and that one is a lot much better so yeah lesson learned Y'all, even uh, if you want to come with no crowds, y'all need to come out like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. type. <laughs> even there might still be people there, but 4, 5, 6 a.m. Because 8 o'clock is bussin' bussin'. When you're in it, when you're anywhere in the summer, y'all want to take a picture there? Yeah, you're good. I'm just recording, but it's 9:30, still super early, and I'm like, do I go home, change, wear something comfortable? I do have another session, but I'm thinking of moving that till tomorrow. You staring? Why are you staring at me? Dang! I'm like y'all saw that in town, right? Okay, well now it's like almost 11. I just finished like changing into my outfit that I'll be wearing for the rest of the day. This is the little outfit situation that we have going on.
Yeah. Hi. <laughs> we just got done taking pictures literally almost all over Rome, uh, right? Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. All we travel a lot. And she we walked a lot. Yeah. We had good conversations. Yeah. Lots of talking. And it that was, was the best part. It was know? good, yeah. <laughs> It was nice to talk with nice you. It was nice talking with you, nice meeting with you. Yeah. And it was a good experience, so I'm gonna leave like the Airbnb experience yeah, on there. And then perfect. you guys, if you come into Rome. You guys, I am tired as heck. I shouldn't even be recording because I'm on the metro. Look how much I got my bag like this on the metro. They're staring at me like I'm crazy. You made it, it's very... Fortunata sometimes make just once, but then they don't do all the fresh pasta. They buy it outside. The guanciale, the chick of the pork. Of, of garlic, one quarter of our fresh. I forgot to even record my goodbye message to them, but the little pasta making class was cute, was good. It was nice to get to meet with people that were so traveling, people that were there together. But oh, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm exhausted. What did you do? I went to, go the, to the room. Yeah, I did the pasta. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was a lot of work. But was it good? It was good. It was awesome. actually really good. I'm about to wash up, change, talk to my family, friends and family, family, friends, whatever, and knock out. <laughs> Jackie is tapped out. Well, this is day, I don't know, but this is our last full day. This is my full outfit. It's giving, do you not know it's hot outside? Why are you wearing long sleeves and black? But this is the vibe I want to give today. Y'all, the way I slept in is crazy. Like, 
I told you I haven't been sleeping well, but I slept in very good. It's 1 p.m. I'm starting the day super late, but today is just for food, vibes, shopping, and the likes. It is not that bad. <sighs> Let's go out and see what today has to offer. The weather is not bad at all. Let me ask somebody where I should go. Let's be spontaneous. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay outside, be spontaneous, and see if I can have someone direct my location, because to the place that i had just googled randomly i was gonna go there but y'all it was empty i'm so sorry i'm not doing that to myself i need to eat and when places are empty it's for a reason when places are busy it's for a reason so and with oat milk with oat milk Ooh. with oat milk <laughs> with it in it Okay. I, I just want like an iced coffee with oat milk or yes, the iced okay. coffee is with mint and coffee cold. Okay. It's cafe latte. Oh, okay, cafe latte. The other cafe I went to, I said oat milk. I said okay. I probably didn't even know I was drinking cow milk. One looks like it's busting, so we're gonna eat here. I just hope they have tiramisu. Beauty supply store and business vibes, you know what I mean? So let's see, because this is what I want to see. Okay, so this is what I want to see. Okay, so this is what I want to see. Yes, only in Italy. Yeah, only in okay. Italy. Only to so these ones. Oh, them, yeah, it's 15. Mm. Do you have anything one? under three ounces? It's, uh, it's 100 ml. It's for you or for you? Um, both. Mm -mm. It's too musky. I like sweet, like vanilla. Oh, this one. Mm. All right, y'all. So I had bought some perfume from like this perfume I have for myself and for others, and I made sure I got the perfume that was only found in Italy because why would I get brands I can get at Sephora? And then now I'm really debating: should I still get my nails done? Like I already had all my photo shoots. Like, do y'all think it's worth it or? This is going through those, but I want my nails done when I hold my gelato. I'm tired of hiding my nails, so we're just gonna go. And what I'm learning is, don't even, I don't even, I think what's helping me is that I don't even go to a place expecting them to greet me. I go in and I walk in like that's my own house, like I don't even expect to greet me at I'm thinking I'm gonna make some content over there because it's quiet and the sun's hitting. I just refilled my water bottle and then I'm gonna get a quick gelato. Okay, so I got like caramel something and matcha green tea. I don't know if those are a good combination, but we just try it out. can't use my card. I can't withdraw from it. And I have to pay them 10 euros. What am I gonna do? Myself in trouble. I have to go buy them Starbucks or buy them coffee because I don't have cash. I told the lady, I don't have cash. And she was like, I don't know if I And she just kept on doing this. I said, okay. Okay, rule number one always make sure, set up your pin before you leave. You never know. Yes. 
mascarpone. Okay, mascarpone and ferro shape. Mm -hmm. sí. mm -hmm. Always walk where there's people. Don't walk by yourself. <laughs> Make sure there's people walking around you if you're walking by yourself at night. Google Maps has me walking in alleys. So I have my little tripod thing. Worst case scenario, coming for the head of the eye. But we already know and covered by the blood. Jesus, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not scared sometimes walking in the alley with myself. Sometimes, but just gotta have faith in Hope for the best, but hope for the worst. I think I'm in like shopping district that has all the luxury brands or whatever. Hopefully this vlog looks fun and interesting because it was fun. It was cute. I guess we made it to the Spanish steps because I just see a crowd of people just there. And people are sitting on it. I'm just so confused on what I'm looking at, y'all. Let me flip the camera. Oh, Christian Dio Dio. You can definitely miss these steps. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Chilled, relaxed, prayed a little bit, listened to music on the Spanish steps. And as crowded as it is, it was very peaceful and it's really romantic. So if you wanna come to Italy with your significant other, this is a cute spot. Even by yourself or some friends, it's cute to just chill, people watch, vibe. I was gonna read a book, but I'm ready to get back and I wanna get a good night's sleep, so. It's cute, a lot of luxury brand stores nearby, so shop, chill, chill, relax. But I don't really get the significance of it. I guess I have to do my research and see why it's called Spanish Steps and why it's so significant. People are up there too. Am I gonna go up there? <laughs> Probably not. Is it that deep for me? Yeah. I also thought it was very funny. Someone asked me if I'm Brazilian. Like, do I look Brazilian? Almost 11. 10.55. I came like I was a little scared walking here because it's dark and nobody's making the alley to turn. But like I said, Olua has us covered and I walked really fast, <laughs> but we made it back. And today was a day. We started late, but we really maximized as much of the time despite the inconveniences. It was a good day and food wise, I'm a little bit satisfied. I still need to have another type of pasta. I'm trying to as eat as much as possible. The tiramisu I just had from that place is not good, but the tiramisu from the first restaurant, that was the best. So good. Might have to go back there, but it was good. So I had a sleep shower or a shower sleep and prep for tomorrow. Stay because tomorrow's gonna be an early morning. I'm on two hours of sleep. I'm off for two hours of sleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> So today's a no makeup day, okay? I am exhausted. I hope the bag under my eyes are not evident, but we were supposed to head up by like 7 40 7 30 ish but like when i was getting a cup of coffee downstairs and i sat outside in the patio i met two people and like we started chatting and i you know I me mean? i love a good conversation and i'm slow traveling so i don't really talk to 
much people all the time so like i love good conversation so i sat there indulged and then when the conversation died down that's when i had dipped and i was drinking my cappuccino because i need coffee so i can sustain myself and survive so now we are headed to the vatican we're heading to vatican city i really just want to see um peter's basilica they said that's where peter's body is laid not peter pan but peter that knows jesus my lord and savior that peter somebody that can go to vatican city so we're gonna take the metro there and yeah but we're in journal good morning y'all so these flowers are so pretty let me figure out where i'm going though i just really hope that the saint peter that was not really a long line i didn't get skip the line tickets they were sold out so i hope i don't have to wait too long but i'm gonna just quickly do it y'all i want to record me having a staring competition with one of these people like i'm not gonna lie the next time someone kind of stare at me i'm gonna start recording them and we're gonna do this and let's see who's gonna win a few moments later after hopping on and off the wrong bus and getting on the right bus eventually we are in vatican city it's very quiet compared to the rest of rome it's very quiet a lot of nuns and catholic Y'all, do not be like me. Get here at 5 a.m. Literally get here at 5 a.m. Do not be like me at all. School, but let's see if I can quickly get out of here, get to the hotel, check out. <laughs> I told you guys we live by faith and not by sight. Going to science, I shouldn't have made it in at the time that I did, but I did. And yeah, it's beautiful, it's cute. Is it a miss? I feel like if you have the time to do it, then do it to the fullest and get the whole day. Uh, but don't just come for one thing, but. so so important and you know spending the extra couple of dollars or we double the amount of something sometimes you have to do it just worry about it later but right now my feet are killing me and i don't think it's gonna be feasible for me to try to even walk there psych that's the i'm gonna do it i'm gonna walk to the train station Oh my god, y'all, it's so hot, I don't want to burn. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it scared. I'm gonna do it tired, sore, all the above. But it's literally three minutes. It's a three minute walk. That's it. I can do it. I know I can. We're doing it. This is such an unhinged vlog. I know that y'all are probably expecting or wanting to watch something luxurious and having the Mercedes pick us up, but we have the Mercedes drop us off. Does that count? <laughs> But now this is real, like it's definitely more than a three minute walk. But I should have took an Uber. I'm over here lugging my luggage like this.
understatement, but we made it to the place. It's like an Airbnb hotel, kind of. It looked cuter on the line. It looked bigger online, but this is not bad, I guess. It's hot. There's no freaking AC. But y'all know I love a good view. Y'all know I do it for the views. So this is the main reason why I got this one because I knew I had this really, really, really nice room and terrace and all that other stuff. And it's kind of big. Well, it's actually it's bigger than, well, I don't know. But it's just so, so, so cute. And this is like private terrace. And it's like a private terrace as well. Like, I guess I'll be taking some pictures out here. For sure. Like, and this is so pretty. It's just a view. Right in the Galleria Umberto. So I think that's cute. Have a little terrace here. And that's the other side, the street side. <sighs> but yeah, I'm really just gonna chill in here. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm beyond tired, so. I'm really just gonna chill in here. It's given old Roman something. Cause I literally have the listers on my feet. Like, I just sat on this bed for a good hour just sitting down. But I'm gonna suck it up because I'm not in Italy every day. It's not every day I'm in Naples and I don't have that much time here. So I'm gonna like let my phone charge a little bit, freshen up, and we're gonna get ready to go to dinner somewhere very nearby. <laughs> like there's a lot of restaurants. I'm gonna go somewhere less than a five minute walking distance. And we're gonna chill, okay, and make the most of it because we don't complain. We enjoy life, we make mistakes, and we learn from them. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna show you my blisters with my feet. I am going to have to do some type of foot therapy when I get back. I lied, let me just show y'all. That's a little bit, but it's like hurts right here. All right, I don't know if I showed y'all my outfit that I was wearing before, but I was wearing a skirt and I changed it because I just, I don't know, I feel more comfortable in this. I actually really like these jeans. They're from Fashion Nova. They fit perfect. They're size seven. So, and like it barely has a little thing in the back. Like literally these fit perfectly, but I have my book, journal, all that stuff. I'm gonna eat, come back home, chill, and prepare for tomorrow because tomorrow's gonna be a long and expensive day. So. So I found a place, it was like literally a minute walk, like it's called Grand Cafe Al. Why did I get a menu and she was like, they stopped serving pizza at five. What the hell, in, in Italy? So I'm not gonna find somewhere else. Oh, that was like it's too good to be shit. Like Naples is still a little, it's less rowdy than Rome, but it just looks, it has a different vibe. I don't know how to explain it, but it has a different vibe. And I don't know if it's a vibe that I would want to continue to indulge in. Why is it so hard to get pizza in Italy? Like, this makes no sense to me. And I'm in a tourist attraction. Maybe I'm not doing something right. No pizza. No pizza. It's literally in the same area, like just above the shops and stuff. Might as well eat here and then summer, but I wish I could get more like variety of food, but we're gonna try this deep fried pizza. 
Honestly, I think Rome was the peak. Naples is not really doing it for me. Currently 1.37 and I have a boat to catch. I needed to sleep in and do some soul care. There was no point of me going and my body just needed to recuperate or whatever. So now we're heading to the port and it's only been a couple hours in post town. Google Maps will get you lost in the wrong location. Take Apple Maps. to wink at me but you don't have time to get my food like you can make sure i'm chilling though but i'm really mad at myself for not 
second get up and coming here earlier. But I still came, so I'm gonna make the most of it in the short two hours that I have. So don't procrastinate, don't let the scaries get don't let the show travel. Don't let the solo travel scaries get to you. You're already there. Go ahead and do it. Oh, yay! <laughs> I'm hungry. Thank you. I didn't know what I ordered. I thought it was going to be red spaghetti. Oh, One more? It's actually really good. Because I'm not really a pesto girl. It's not pesto, but I thought it was going to be red for some reason. But it's still really good. The portion is smallish. But you know, it's okay. I'm going to go somewhere else. And we're going to chop lunch and eat it. But it's really good. Okay, so that Fernando was good. It was very chill vibes. I liked the cool vibes. The food was good. Drinks are good. The service was good. Um, it was calm. Very. It's a local beach, so it was calm. But now I kind of want to experience the touristic stuff. So we're gonna go to the main beach and see what we could get ourselves into from there. Um, but yeah, so far we're good on time and uh, the vibes are different. I like it. I really do like it here compared to Naples, but maybe I didn't give Naples a try. later yo so i was rushing to change so i changed like behind the boat and i realized i can't even like take my dress up my dress is literally peeking out and i'm like should i quickly go change i changed and much better because i cannot walk around with that blue thing stuck about like it looks so weird and i just know people are looking at me like i'm crazy <laughs> There's really no taxis or Ubers on the app. I guess I'm about to eat McDonald's tonight. And this is gonna be like ending of a perfect night because post tunnel was great. And I purposely didn't get dinner before I left because like, okay, I'm gonna eat some good pizza and Napoleon, but it's okay, post tunnel was great. I was like, let me end it with a good Napoleon dinner. Your girl thought wrong. This place is ghetto as hell. Excuse my French. And this is where pizza was established, so I don't really get it. I did tiramisu to go, so I got my tiramisu to go, and then I came back to the curb. Hopefully, I have enough water. We made it back. We made it back. We're leaving Italy. This is our last full day in Italy. I think I did this trip well. I tried my best. You know, I really did try my best. Okay, we can take some content up here. Y'all, the tiramisu was frozen. Honestly, I think the first night in Rome, I'm so happy I decided to go eat dinner with the girl that I met because that was the best tiramisu I've had in my life. It was so good. It was so good. And we shared it together. I should have just got my own. That was the best tiramisu. The pasta was good. That was the best restaurant that I've had. Like, oh, Positano was a hit. So I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm happy I finally used some of the courage to go. It wasn't that bad at all, besides the ferry right back, but it wasn't bad. Um, but this food... Alright y'all, 
so <laughs> we're leaving it's like oh like it's a bittersweet like i'm ready to go home like so bad like i'm i'm more than ready to go home but then also like it was a good time i really enjoyed it bienvenido italia bienvenido italia don't know what i just said but it was a good it was a good one i did leave so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. I hope you were inspired if you're thinking of coming to Italy. And hopefully you can learn from my mistakes so you don't have to. But I will see you guys in another video. Let's do this. Comment what you think was the highlight of my trip. Comment your highlight of the trip for me. Like what you feel like I could have done better. Because I like to be, I'm open to criticism. So comment what you think that I could have done better or where you think maybe I messed up at? I don't know. Yeah, I'm back! I know I said I was done with the vlog, but I'm. I just want to express my dissatisfaction with Naples. There's literally no Uber available. Now I have to luggage my stuff to the metro because how else am I gonna get to the where I need to be? I'm not even Uber Black. I'm tired. I don't know. I'm exhausted. How do people move around? So it wasn't that bad. Taking the metro is not that bad. I uh, found an elevator so I didn't have to lug it up those concrete stairs and then I'm just taking the escalator all the way down. So it's like we're running good on time. Um, so I go on the right train but I went on the wrong side because different sides go towards different location. I noticed it quickly and I hopped off. This lady helped me get to the right side but now I'm probably gonna miss that bus. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do, y'all. Like, you live and you learn, but what the heck, bro? Now I know. I'm gonna show you the signs. You live and you learn. And I just have, I have no service, no connection, obviously, because we're underground in the tunnel, so I can't look for another um, method of transportation until I get above ground. And I'm just like, like, I finally made it to the train station. A whole lot of mistakes. And lessons learned. <laughs> I don't know if they needed to be learned or not, but I've learned.